Hello and welcome back to the Pippi Bikes channel where we will be building a TIG welded steel bicycle frame. Uh, today is all about TIG welding so let's take a look at the hardware and talk about the setup. Alright here's the welder. It's a Power TIG 200DX and it's a Chinese made welder. And uh, it's on a stand which is the cheapest stand I could find on Amazon. And you can see right here, it's a little too small, so I had to put this piece of wood to hold the front uh, of the welder on there. One nice thing about the stand is you can attach the argon tank to the back of it. You can see these chains holding it on. And the reason for that is argon is, it's not flammable, uh, so it's not dangerous in that way, but it is in a pressurized container. Uh, it's, it's, it's under very high pressure, so if this were in your shop and it was just sitting there and let's say there was an earthquake or someone walked by and knocked it over, uh, it could literally explode. So you want to keep it either, uh, if you don't have a stand, keep it like chained up against a wall or something. This is a size M tank. I don't really know what that means. It, there's different sizes and they have a letter for it. I think a size M is a... 125 CF tank and even that is all kind of like relative. I guess the only thing you need to know about this tank is that um, I'm 5'2 and I weigh about 120 pounds and I can lift this tank when it's totally full and it's not going to hurt my back or anything. Another good thing to know is this tank will probably fit in most cars like a regular size car. Alright so let's talk about the uh, the other parts. Okay, on the front we have the TIG torch connector. Over here is the gas outlet. This is the hose where the, the argon gas comes from. And that gas feeds into the connector and then from the connector comes out this hose that provides the torch with power and argon gas. Uh, this is the foot pedal connector and this is the uh, ground connector. Okay, so around the back, this is where the um, the argon gas in the tank it comes out of there and it goes into here. And right here is the power cable for the uh, machine. Alright, these are the cables coming off of those connectors. This is the argon regulator. This goes on your argon tank and the argon goes through this hose and it feeds into the back of your welder. This is the power cable and it's got a uh, three prong 220 or 240 I can't remember which uh, adapt uh, connector on here. This is the adapter which lets you plug it into a standard wall outlet and if you use this you're gonna get less amperage you're just gonna get whatever amperage is coming out of that wall outlet. Um, which is actually enough to weld a steel bicycle frame. This is the uh, ground cable, the ground clamp. This connects to your workpiece or it connects to the table which your workpiece is sitting on if the table is metal. This is the TIG torch. And over here we've got the foot pedal. So this pedal uh, it's a variable pedal, so the more you push, the more power goes to your TIG torch. Okay, so I just got this tank uh, refilled, which is really, you, you take the tank in and you swap it for a full tank. And I'll show you guys how to connect the regulator. So you, you take off this protective cap. Screw this thing in here. And you uh, tighten it down. And you don't you don't want to over tighten this because uh, it's brass. Alright, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this gas on. 
And when you do, you want to make sure you you turn this very slowly. You want to release gas into here very slowly for safety. And then the next thing I usually do is I make up like a little batch of soapy water and I pour it over here. And that's so you can see if there's any leaks, like it'll start bubbling. Okay, so I took off the connector and I examined the part that connects into here uh, just to make sure there was nothing on it that was causing this to leak. Um, so it pretty much was clean. I put it back on and all I had to do was just kind of like wiggle this in there, make sure it was getting a good connection in here, and then tighten up this collar uh, a little more than. I was before, and that pretty much stopped it. So, I'll show you here. There's no more bubbles, so no more gas leaking. All right, let's talk about the TIG torch. So this is the body. This thing here, I just call this the end cap. I don't know if there's another name for it, but I call it an end cap. Uh, this is the nozzle. And the nozzle is usually made of ceramic. I've seen some nozzles made of glass as well, but ceramic's way more common. Uh, and this little guy in here, this is your tungsten. And so if I loosen the end cap, the, it loosens the tungsten so you can pull it out. And if I tighten it, it locks the tungsten down. All right, so I'll take this apart. I'll take the end cap off. And when I do, you'll notice there's a little donut gasket here, a little rubber gasket. And sometimes when you're pulling it off, this guy slips off a little bit. So you want to make sure this is always like seated in the right place when you're putting it back together. If this gasket's missing, then your gas will not be coming out the business end. It'll actually be leaking out the back, and that's very bad. All right, so let's take this off. This is the tungsten. You see I have my tungsten sharpened on both sides. I'll explain that later as well. And let's take off the nozzle. Alright, so I took the nozzle off. And so you'll see here, I'm taking this little thing off here. This is the collet body, and this is the collet. So when this thing's put back together, this is actually sitting like this. All right. So a little about the collet body. Um, I don't have any regular collet bodies. This type of body is what's known as a gas lens. And a gas lens has this little mesh looking thing here and what happens is the gas flows through this end and it, even, it gets evenly dispersed out here. And what that does is when you're welding, uh, it covers your workpiece, your area, uh, more evenly with the gas. And uh, I'll explain that a little more later when we actually start welding, what, what that, how that, in my opinion, is better. Um, what did I miss? Okay, so this little guy here, this is the, like a nylon collar, and that goes here. And you won't see this on every setup. It depends on your nozzle. So this nozzle needs this nylon collar. Okay, so I'm going to put this torch back together uh, really quickly so you can, again, see how it's assembled. You'll notice uh, when, you, when I'm doing this, I'm just using the, uh, my hand. Oops, put that on a little too soon. I'm just kind of uh, hand tightening it down. You shouldn't ever use like um, pliers or anything like that to get these really tight. You just need it tight enough for your hands to uh, tighten it down and take it off. And 
There you go. Okay, so we pretty much covered the basics of the setup. Uh, you want your you want your ground clamp gr uh, clamp to your table, and you want your foot pedal down there so you can step on it, and your torch. The only other thing is, before you start, of course, you should make sure your your gas is turned on. And a little thing about this is, when you turn on your gas, you want to make sure that um, you don't open this up all the way. You want to just kind of crack it open until you're getting enough flow and leave it at that. And the reason for that is if like this hose or if any part in the machine were to break and cause a leak, you're not getting the full pressure of this tank uh, coming out of that leak. So just a little precaution. Alright, so that's it for this video. In the next video we'll actually do some welding.